and December the 25th. Every year is a day set aside by Christians across the world to mark the birth of Jesus Christ. And that day reinforces the Christian belief in their faith. Believers here in Lagos earlier in the day held services to mark Christmas. And for the Christian faithful in Port Harcourt, the birth of Jesus Christ gives them hope for a brighter future. And that's why they gathered in churches across the city to mark this special Christmas. Meanwhile, the governor of Delta State, Ifai Yokoa, is telling Nigerians not to lose faith in the country, but commit themselves to building a better nation. The governor spoke during the state's festival of nine lessons and carol as part of the Christmas celebrations this year. In this report now, TVC News' Ivy Kano in Lagos, Uche Okoro in Port Harcourt, and Ike Namichi in Delta State report that Christian faithful believe the birth of Jesus Christ is significant to their salvation. This is the Household of God International Ministries Church Christmas Service. It's a service like no other as members came gorgeously dressed in colorful Bible character attires. Each group gave a rendition of Christmas songs. The man of God wasn't left out as he adorned his own unique attire, also of a Bible character. His teachings were electrifying, and the same energy transcends from altar to the parishioners. He says Christmas is a season that brings to bear the triple A's of what the birth of Christ represents. About 700 years before Jesus was born, the prophet Micah gave a prophecy pinpointing the exact place where he was going to be born. Based on the faithfulness and the fidelity of that prophecy, we can see that there is going to be peace on earth eventually when the true Prince of Peace returns. And so that's a word of encouragement for Nigerians because he was born in a cattle shed to demonstrate the fact that Jesus is approachable, is accessible, Thank you. and he's available. Other Christian faithful economic situation, its significance is in sharing joy, love, and happiness. When I woke up this morning, I said, God, thank you for giving us Jesus. That means thank you for giving us salvation. Thank you for giving us hope. Because we have Jesus, we have hope. Christmas simply represents the victory of Christ. Going through the scriptures, we would see that man was born into a battle um, that had come even before he was created. So, and he fell. That's what the Bible says. So, the fall of man was what necessitated Christ's coming. It signifies love, peace, patience, reconciliation, all of that. So, it's a time that um, families come together to celebrate the love of Jesus. Recently, the celebration of Christmas has become commercial. The main issue, we forget it, who is with the person that, that will celebrate. That's why it's called Christmas, the, the Mass of Jesus Christ. So for me, it's a reminder of our salvation. Christmas was traditionally a Christian festival celebrating the birth of Jesus. But in the early 20th century, it became a secular family holiday observed by both Christians and non-Christians all over the world. Ivy Kano. CVC News, Lagos. Christmas falling on a Sunday is an unusual event. The last time it was on a Sunday was in 2016, and before then, it also happened in 2011. It would be another 11 years in 2033 before Christmas is celebrated on a Sunday once again. The date is special. But Christians gathered in worship centers today for the significance of the commemoration. God left his space as Lord, he called himself, himself so low, and entered the midst and nature of man that you and I 
will become like God. That is the message of Christmas. We are celebrating the coming of our Savior, the coming, the beginning of the end of our slavery in sin. We are happy that Christ came and that his coming brings uh, to us hope and salvation for humanity. And for us as Christians, it's not just a personal thing, it is our life. Just as the book of Isaiah said, unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and government shall be upon his shoulders. He is the one. It hasn't been the best of years for many people, but the optimism that comes with the Christmas festivities can still be felt. Maybe next year, with the ushering of a new era in politics, uh, we believe that Nigeria and Nigerians will actually begin to see something that is uh, different from what we have seen all over. So next year will be better than this year. We are going into election year next, next year. We are hoping that we get somebody who is a leader that has the heart of men, the heart of the citizens, the condition and welfare of the citizens at heart. People are so dejected and they, they, they feel so, so, you know, nothing worth living for some. So that is what the 2022 represented for many people in Nigeria. But we are hopeful that next year, by God's grace, there will be a turnaround and God will make Nigeria great as it used to be. Different expectations as the year comes to an end. Hmm, it's been an eventful year, hasn't it? Well, the common thing is that most people are anxious about the 2023 general election and hope that by this time next year, everyone would have a much better Christmas story to tell about how the last 12 months have been. Uche Okoro, TVC News, Port Hackers. One major activity during the Yuletide is the nine lessons and carol by the Delta State Government, Governor Okoa, government officials and residents of the state from all walks of life gathered at the event center for the music renditions accompanied by Bible readings. In the sweat of thy face shall thou eat bread, to thou return unto the ground. Arise, shine, for thy light is come. Songs from different singers were rendered as worshippers bask in the euphoria of the season with melodious tunes from the mass choir and other groups. After different scripture reading on the birth of Jesus Christ, the governor delivered a message of hope to Nigerians, especially at this trying period in the country. But I do believe that no matter what we see today, we must all get committed to our nation. Because it's a nation that we must collectively build back, both by working hard and by praying for this country. And I believe that the Nigeria of tomorrow will be a much better country. Yes, we will go through tough times, but Nigeria will be a much better country. So our children and our youth should not lose hope. There is great, a great part going into the future, but we must be part of the building of a new nation as youths as young ones, by committing ourselves to doing those things that we ought to do, I believe that whatever has happened today and in the last several years, that change is coming on the way. God has a purpose for it to teach each and every one of us a lesson. The lessons may be bitter, but there are lessons to be learned from it. Songs and more singing continued as the congregants usher in the Christmas celebration. Ikenda Amechi, TVC News, Asaba. And joining us now to talk more about the essence of this year's Christmas celebration is the senior pastor of the Foundation of Truth Assembly, Reverend Yomi Kasali, and he's also the chairman of the board of the Nigeria Christians Pilgrims Commission. Many thanks for joining us, Reverend Kasali, and a Merry Christmas to you.
Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. But when Thank you, look, you very, very much. Right. Many thanks for joining us again. When you look at the historical background of Christmas, how do you relate it with its significance today? Well, um, like you know, 2,000 years ago, somewhere, you know, in the uh, least uh, city or town, the entire uh, country of Judea, uh, in fact, the biggest and the best gift that God sent to humanity uh, was sent in the lowest, which means the least of all cities, Bethlehem. The least, uh, meaning that uh, today we would categorize that as a minority. Imagine a big country like Nigeria, and we pick the least minority in our land. And not only the least, as it were, Bethlehem, but also the lowest place in Bethlehem in the manger. The most for me and from what the Bible tells us, that God can, God respects minorities, God ex respects ethnic uh, tribes, and the lowest of all people. God, Christ did not come, uh, of course, in a big palace. Of, of course, the wise men went to a king's palace to see the birth of this baby boy that's born as a king. So the significance is for all of us to understand that God chose to identify with the lowest and, of course, are the most feeble in our society, the lowest, the weakest, and, of course, the most feeble. God loves everybody regardless of class uh, status. And so that's a major, major lesson of Christmas, apart from the fact that it was the biggest and the best gift to humanity and it's a sign of peace and goodwill to all men. Christmas, of course, uh, is the biggest, uh, celebrated, most celebrated festive season on the face of the earth. Uh, it's because uh, it, it's a season that unites, a season that... Uh, that teaches us to love all men, goodwill, to live at peace with everybody, our neighbors, to, to, to stop uh, bitterness, fighting, and call, and to embrace peace. The Christianity or Christmas is all about peace on earth, goodwill to all men. That's a major lesson, and it came to the lowest of the lowest to reach out to everybody else. Unto us, a child is born, not unto Mary and to Joseph, born to us. It came for everybody, but it came in the lowest of places, the least of towns, just to show humanity that even those that we consider in Ajegule, somewhere in Bayelsa, somewhere in the north, somewhere, one tribe that is not recognized, God said, I will identify with them out there. Right. And that's for those that probably understand the place of politics. Thank you. Right. And um, one present day uh, concern is the issue of um, fanatics, religious intolerance, religious field uh, of violence. How do we go past these concerns? Thank you very much. Um, you would recall that when the Lord Jesus was born, there were two, three different people that responded differently to the birth. There was a king called Herod who responded with hostility and violence. And he killed two two children, two years and below. And it's according to history that he responded in violence. Of course, God was against that. So we should understand that the birth of Christ should not produce violence, but rather stop it, but leave it at peace with ourselves. Uh, religious tolerance simply means that even though you uh, share a different faith, we can cohabit, coexist, and understand that the peace of God is not in the absence of differences, but despite our differences, ability to coexist together, respect ourselves, our faiths, our confessions, conf confessions and convictions, and choose to tolerate or to live with our weaknesses. That was exactly what Christ came to do. And that's a message and what we call the gospel of the Christian faith. That's what Christ came to do, teach, and also to tell his followers to do. So religious tolerance is um, non-negotiable for those of us that understand how to respond to the Christmas season and the Christmas season. Today, some respond socially, holiday. Let me go and have time to eat. Some respond religiously and traditionally. Some respond spiritually and some respond violently. Let's respond the right way. It is to love. Christ is about love. Anything outside love is not Christianity. Reverend Yomi Kasali, we'll leave it at this uh, point. Many thanks for joining us on TVC News tonight.